Consider the following grammar statement if expression then expression else expression semicolon statement or O. Expression gives term relational operator term or term term gives ID or number ID gives A or B or C number gives 0 to 9. So in this grammar the ones I have underlined in red are the variables and the ones I haven't like these are the terminals the ones which are not underlined in red are terminals. Consider a program P following the above grammar containing 10 if terminals. The number of control flow paths in P is dash. And they have also given an example program if E1 then E2 else E3 if that's the program. It has two paths that is take E1 then E2 or E1 and then E3. This corresponds to the condition being true, the expression being true and then taking this part. And this corresponds to the expression being false and then taking this part E3. So, we have been told that there are 10 if terminals. We have to find out the number of control flow paths in P. So, this is a question from compiler design regarding parser. This is the program. And they want to know, they want us to answer how many control flow paths can be there in a program that contains 10 if expressions. So, let's take a look at this grammar. It says a statement generates an if expression like this. If expression, then expression, else expression. Once this is generated, let's see what expression will give us. Expression will give us term, relational operator term or term. Term can give us ID or number. ID gives A or B or C. Number gives 0 or 9. So in each step, a variable can only produce variables below, variables from productions below this grammar. So expression, if I have a variable expression somewhere while I was generating uh, the strings in the grammar. Suppose I have expression. Now expression can only generate term variables inside this. Expression can never go back to statement here. Only if we reach statement we will get an if condition because if is generated by this variable statement. If we got an expression it will only generate terms. If we have terms it can only generate id or number. It can't generate expression or statement. Id can only generate three terminals. Number will also generate only three terminals. So what it means is that if I have something like if expression then expression else expression I have something like this these are the variables expression three expression variables expression can never generate a statement from this point onwards meaning that there won't be further ifs within this expressions these expressions which effectively means that if the grammar has 10 ifs there's only one way to get that that is statement generates if then else statement now this statement will again generate if then else statement again this statement will generate if then else like that 10 times so this program what does it mean this program is like 10 lines if then else there will be expressions in between, expression, expression, expression. Similarly, we have 10 like lines like this and then at the end, this is an empty statement. O dot was empty statement. That was given in the question, but I just didn't write it because the text was large. So, our program looks like this. Now, the first statement can take two paths. That is, let us say, if E1, then E2, else E3 can be it can take even e2 or even e3 this was given in the question itself if it's if even then e2 else e3 there are two control flow paths so statement one will have two control flow paths similarly this will also have two control flow paths etc the last one will also have two control flow paths so there are 10 statements each with two control flow paths so the number of total number of control flow control flow paths would be 2 into 2 into etc up to this that is there are 10 statements which is nothing but 2 raised to 10 that is 1024 1024 was the answer to this question